Warren Buffett once said, do not save what's left after spending, but spend what's left after saving. These words hold a key to financial independence, particularly when it comes to dividends. In this video, we'll show you and John a strategy that aligns perfectly with Buffett's philosophy, living off dividends. We'll show you three ways to get there. One focused on capital appreciation that also pays dividends, one focused on long-term growing dividends, and one slightly risky but quick approach. In the end, we'll show you how you can get the best of all and almost double your monthly earnings in a combined portfolio of all. But first, let's understand dividends. Dividends are payments made by a company to its shareholders from its profits. If you own stock in a company that pays dividends, you'll receive a portion of the company's earnings, usually quarterly. But not all dividends are the same. Some companies pay high dividends, while others pay low to no dividends. The difference often comes down to the company's strategy and stability. For instance, older, well-established companies might pay higher dividends because they have consistent profits and don't need all their earnings to grow. On the other hand, newer or fast-growing companies might pay lower dividends because they reinvest most of their earnings back into the business to grow faster. There's also a matter of risk. Stocks that pay high dividends can be riskier. Sometimes a company pays high dividends to attract investors, but if the company isn't stable, those dividends might not be sustainable. In contrast, stocks with growing dividends might be seen as less risky because they show the company is doing well and growing steadily. As for balancing these different types of dividend-paying stocks, it's all about finding the right mix for your investment goals and risk tolerance. In the coming chapters, we'll explore three strategies, and in the end, we will see how to create a balanced portfolio that combines different types of dividend stocks and doubles the earnings. Starting with strategy number one, blue chip stocks. Blue chip stocks represent the cornerstone of a strategy that aligns with Warren Buffett's wisdom about financial prudence. These stocks belong to well-established companies known for their financial stability, longevity, and ability to weather economic downturns. Investing in such stocks is akin to building a solid foundation for a house, ensuring it can withstand the tests of time and turbulence. Take, for instance, companies like Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, and Altria Group. These are prime examples of blue-chip stocks, each with a history of consistent dividend payouts. Johnson & Johnson from the healthcare sector has a current dividend yield of 2.98% and a track record of increasing its dividends for several decades, offering investors reliability and steady growth. Coca-Cola in the beverage industry not only provides a current dividend of 3.13%, but also has shown capital appreciation over the long term. And then there's Altria Group Incorporated, with a dividend yield of 9.15%. A real-life example that sums up the power of investing in blue-chip stocks for dividends can be drawn from Warren Buffett's own investment portfolio, Berkshire Hathaway, Buffett's company has long held significant positions in blue-chip stocks, including Coca-Cola. This aligns with his investment philosophy of favoring companies with a strong history of profitability and dividend payments. So how much would John need to earn $2,800 per month from blue-chip stocks? First, since John will be investing in all these stocks together, we need to take the average of the three dividend yields. Assuming we're investing equally in all stocks, we get an average dividend yield of 5.09%. To achieve a monthly income of $2,800 from dividends, John would need to invest approximately $660,118 in blue chip stocks. While this amount may seem really high, it's important to remember that investing in blue chips is all about safety and this investment will be one of the safest investments John could ever make. Also, this portfolio will be growing and increasing dividends over time, but not as much as our next strategy, which is using dividend growth stocks. Dividend growth stocks are a distinctive category in the investment world, especially for those aiming to mimic Warren Buffett's approach to creating long-term wealth. 
Unlike typical dividend-paying stocks, these are characterized by their potential for consistently increasing dividends over time. This aspect is crucial for investors looking for not just a constant income stream, but one that grows, counteracting inflation's impact on purchasing power. Prime examples of dividend growth stocks are MSCI Incorporated, Arbor Realty Trust Incorporated, ABR, and 3M Stock. MSCI, with a dividend yield of 1.05%, is renowned for its global stock market indexes and portfolio management software, serving a crucial role in financial markets. ABR, with a dividend yield of 12.52%, specializes in real estate-related investments, offering high-yield dividends through a portfolio of multifamily and commercial real estate loans. And lastly, 3M, with a dividend yield of 5.84%, is a well-known multinational conglomerate that excels in innovation across various sectors, including industry, healthcare, and consumer goods, famous for its wide-ranging products like adhesives and electronic materials. Averaging out the yield, we get a portfolio yield of 6.47%. Based on this, to earn $2,800 a month or $33,600 a year, John has to invest $519,320. That number is still high and close to the blue chip investment requirement. So what is the benefit here? The answer is in their dividend growth rate. These three stocks have an annual dividend growth rate of 23.52%, 12.88%, and 8.98% respectively, averaging 15.13%, which can be very helpful in the long term. Let's assume the same portfolio with a dividend yield of 6.47% and a dividend growth rate of 15.13%. Let's also assume the portfolio's annual value increases at 3%. This time, instead of investing all the money up front, John decides to invest only $10,000 up front and then contribute $10,000 each year to the portfolio. Following this strategy, John would reach his dividend target of $2,800 per month or $33,600 a year in 10 years. All that from $100,000 worth of John's yearly contributions and his $10,000 initial deposit, totaling $110,000 worth of investment. But after 10 years, that investment will actually be valued at $254,566. This means instead of investing $519,320 up front, John can still reach the $2,800 target in 10 years with only 20% of what he would need to invest in blue chip stocks. That's all due to the dividend growth rate of these stocks. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy underscores the importance of companies with a strong potential for growth and sustainability. Dividend growth stocks sum up this idea, as they're often well-established companies with robust business models, allowing them to increase dividends consistently. Investing in such stocks aligns with Buffett's strategy of buying and holding quality businesses, as these stocks offer the dual benefits of potential capital appreciation and increasing dividend income over time. Now we move on to the slightly risky approach. And remember, in the end, we'll create a portfolio that will match the earnings of our next strategy while maintaining the balance of growth stocks we've already discussed. The riskier approach is known as covered call ETFs. Covered call ETFs represent a more adventurous route in dividend investing. These exchange-traded funds use a strategy where the fund managers write or sell call options on the stocks they hold. This method generates income from the option premiums, which are then distributed to shareholders as dividends. The appeal of covered call ETFs lies in their potential to offer higher dividend yields compared to traditional dividend-paying stocks, or ETFs. This is because the income from selling call options can significantly boost the total returns, especially in flat or moderately rising markets. For example, a covered call ETF might hold blue chip stocks like Apple or Microsoft, and by selling call options on these stocks, the ETF generates additional income. 
Some of the best-known, not to mention risky, covered call ETFs in the market include CLIP, HYGW, and QILD, with respective dividend yields of 56.89%, 16.79%, and 11.99%, or an average yield of 28.56%. Based on this, to achieve a monthly income of $2,800 through covered call ETFs, John would need an investment of around $117,647. This is a lower initial investment compared to traditional dividend stocks due to the higher yield, but it comes with the trade-off of higher risk and potential loss of capital gains. So what is the risk? Well, the main risk is the potential capping of capital appreciation. When a call option is sold, the ETF gives up any gains in the stock price above the strike price of the option. In a rapidly rising market, this could mean missing out on significant gains. While Warren Buffett's investment strategy focuses on long-term growth and value investing, Exploring covered call ETFs can offer insights into alternative income-generating strategies. It's important to remember that this approach should be part of a well-diversified portfolio, balancing the high income potential with the associated risks. In essence, covered call ETFs provide a faster, though riskier, path to high dividend income, which diverges from Buffett's typical investment principles yet offers a unique perspective on income generation. So, the question is, can you make the best of all three worlds? Absolutely! How? By building a portfolio. To create a diversified, dividend-focused portfolio, you would invest a total of $600,000 split across the three key strategies – blue-chip stocks, dividend growth stocks, and covered call ETFs. This amount is about the same as our first blue chip strategy, but now you'll see how we can earn double with this same investment. Half of the portfolio, amounting to $300,000, would be allocated to blue chip stocks. With an average dividend yield of 5.09%, this segment of your investment would generate an annual dividend income of approximately $15,270. Then, 30% of the portfolio, or $180,000, would go into dividend growth stocks. These stocks have an average yield of 6.47% and a dividend growth rate of 15.13%. This part of the investment would yield about $11,646 in dividends annually. This calculation is for the first year only, and the dividend growth will only increase dividends year over year. The remaining 20% of your portfolio, $120,000, would be invested in covered call ETFs. Now, as we mentioned, these are higher risk but offer a greater average yield of 28.56%, translating to an annual dividend income of $34,272. In total, with a $600,000 investment across these three strategies, your portfolio would be positioned to generate a total annual dividend income of around $61,188. This translates to a monthly income of approximately $5,099. From this, you can see that with this diversified, balanced approach, combining the stability and moderate yields of blue chip stocks, the growth potential of dividend growth stocks, and the high yield of covered call ETFs, we invested the same $600,000 from strategy one, but the outcome generated nearly twice as much dividend income. In this video, we discussed the fastest way to reach $2,800 per month in dividend income. But maybe you want to get paid every week of the month. For this, watch our video on 12 dividend stocks for cash flow every week, where we show you a strategy that pays dividends every week of every month for the entire year.